Welcome and I am back with our today's topic. So guys, our today's topic is about types of allergies. Guys, one way of categorizing the allergies is to divide them into seasonal and perennial. Okay. So now, in our today's lecture, we are going to divide allergies into two types. Seasonal and perennial. Now we are going to discuss about seasonal and perennial allergies into greater detail. So guys, if you have not subscribed our channel yet, so please subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon so that all the notification of the updated video can go through you. Okay guys, so come on. We are on September Day Learning Channel, our lovely channel, yours and ours channel. Now, types of allergies. Allergies are basically one way of categorizing allergy is to divide them into seasonal and perennial allergies. Okay. See guys. Now at the very first we are going to start with seasonal allergies. See guys. Seasonal allergies. As the name suggests seasonal. So these kind of allergies will be occurred by the allergens in a particular season. Okay. So seasonal allergies will be occurring in a particular season while perennial as the name suggests perennial it means year round allergies year round allergies means it will be there throughout the year okay so these kind of allergies will be there throughout the year year kaan wala nahi year varsh okay 12 months is there in a year no so i am talking about that so these are perennial allergies, year-round allergies. Okay, so they will be throughout the year and seasonal allergies will be there in a particular season. Now let's discuss in seasonal allergies first. Guys, airborne allergens. Allergens are those that cause allergies. Airborne allergens such as pollen, spores, dust, smoke, there are many. These are the common seasonal allergy triggers. Okay. So, these are the common seasonal allergic triggers. What are the seasonal allergic triggers? Common seasonal allergic triggers. I have written pollen, spores and dust. And there is one more smoke. Okay. I am telling you. Now, see guys. All the notes are available. You can copy it down. As I am telling. You can note it down. Okay. And you can have a screenshot also. You can take. Now, see. Seasonal allergies. Like seasonal allergic conjunctivitis and hay fever. These are the mainly two types of seasonal allergies. Okay. Guys, for example, in winter. Now, the winter is going on. Okay. And the air is heavy. So, when the air will be heavy, then it will trap more dust and smoke to the ground level. Okay. So, when it will trap, the air is heavy in the winter season. And it will trap more dust and smoke to the ground level and then it will be causing allergies okay so i'm giving just an example okay and allergies which are caused i'm giving more example allergies which are caused by the pollen by a particular kind of pollen will be occur in the flowering season of that pollen okay so, allergy which is caused by a particular kind of pollen. Listen carefully. Allergy which is caused by a particular kind of pollen will occur in the flowering season of that pollen. Why? Why it will occur in the, in the flowering season of that pollen? When the pollen count is high in the air. When the pollen count in the air is high, then only we are triggered. Okay, then only we are triggered by those allergens, no? So, pollen are the allergens. And when, for example, I have told you that if there is a particular kind of pollen and I am allergic to a particular kind of pollen, that pollen. Okay, so when I have the more chance to be triggered by that pollen, when the amount of pollen will be high in the air. Okay, clear? All right. Now come on, seasonal allergic conjunctivitis and hay fever. These are the two kind of seasonal allergies are usually triggered by spores, 
and occur in a particular season. See guys, there has been written particular season. Okay, so seasonal allergic conjunctivitis and hay fever are usually triggered by spores. Are usually triggered by spores and they occur in particular season. And see guys, in uh, both of them, na, there is one common symptom. Okay, they have common symptoms like H-E, sorry, itchy, red and watery eyes is the common symptom in both in hay fever as well as in the seasonal allergic conjunctivitis. And in the hay fever, there is one more that I am telling you that there is will be, there will be the watering of the nose. Okay, there will be the watering of the nose and continuous sneezing will be there. Okay, so these are... These are the symptoms that I have told you. The last one that I have told you now that was of hay fever. And the first one that I have told you that was of both seasonal allergic conjunctivitis and hay fever. Uh, I will repeat that you should not have any kind of confusion. So red itchy and watery uh, eyes are the symptoms of both. These are the common symptoms. Red itchy and watery eyes. Okay. And watery nose and continuous sneezing mainly come in this hay fever. Okay. So, uh, I have told you the symptoms also. Now, come on that perennial allergies. Okay. So, perennial allergies. See. Perennial allergies are year-round allergies. It means that they will be throughout the year. Year-round allergies will be throughout the year. See. So they are year round allergies and two things like dust, allergy, dust, mold, cockroaches, perfumes, these are the kind of allergens and food and medicines, allergy, medicines allergens are also there. Like you have seen many people that have allergies through the egg, soya milk, soya milk they have allergies. Soya milk is very common guys and milk and milk products some have allergies okay and contact allergens also i told all about allergens types of allergens i told you in my previous video you can watch it it is um, i told you full detail about the allergens types of allergens i've told you see guys now like dust mold cockroaches perfumes these are the examples of some common allergens of the perennial allergies okay now, allergens can cause respiratory conditions such as asthma and skin conditions such as eczema. See guys, asthma is very common. Asthma you have been uh, listening uh, means not very common uh, for causing disease. It is not a common disease. Uh, I am not telling that it is a common disease. I am telling that this is a common name that you must be knowing. Asthma. But uh, some people do not know about eczema. So as I am telling you that eczema is a kind of skin condition. Okay. I have written also about this and asthma also. And asthma is a kind of respiratory condition. Okay. So respiratory condition, asthma and skin condition, eczema. Okay. Clear? Now. See, asthma can be categorized by coughing, wheezing, breathlessness, tightening of the airways. You know, respiratory tract is there. I have made the video of respiratory. I have made the video of respiratory system also for respiratory tract has been uh, defined there. And uh, all the parts are being labeled and it is very nice. See, and I will be putting that into, I will put that into the description box also. See, coughing, wheezing are the common uh, character. These are, see, asthma can be characterized. Means, if uh, one, have, one has asthma, these are the conditions which may happen to a person. Okay? A person who is having asthma, he can have these diseases. Cough, uh, these kind of um, means, causes it can be. Okay? So, uh, coughing, wheezing, breathlessness. Tightening of the airways. Tightening of the airways means that the respiratory tract or the tract of the respiration of inhalation and exhalation, there will be the not there will not be the proper inhalation and exhalation. Okay. There will be the problem in exhalation and inhalation. Okay. 
and the respiratory tract will be tightened up. Okay, parts of the respiratory tract. Okay, now come on eczema. Eczema is a kind of condition, skin condition. It is okay that causes patches of the skin. It causes patches of the skin to become dry. Okay, dry, scaly, itchy, and thickened. So eczema is a kind of skin condition which causes patches of the skin in the, of the on the skin there will be patches and it causes patches of the skin to become dry okay scaly thickened okay and itchy also so guys our topic of the seasonal and perennial allergies is over so thank you guys